Okay, so here we've got Virginia leaves. There's a light, medium, and heavy. Um, it's already been de-sticked, so it's just a straight leaves. And then from there, we're going to drop it into this 5 litre bucket, which will just contain RO water. Um, and put as many leaves as you can in. And uh, basically, you're just going to soak it for about 10, 10 15 minutes. Um, as you can see, this dark brown, there's a lot of nicotine that's been taken out there. Otherwise, it's too strong if it's raw. So, um, what you will do is you will just leave it in there for, say, 10 or 15 minutes. And then after that, we will take that over there, put it straight into the strainer over here, squeeze it till all the water is out. The brown water that will come into this bucket over here, you can actually keep and chuck it into your garden. Or just like a spray bottle and spray it around your garden because it's good to keeping bugs away and crickets and stuff actually hate this stuff. Um, so they will stay out of your garden. So a good 10-15 minutes soak. And then you take it, squeeze it out. And as soon as you squeeze majority of this water clean out of it. And you will actually see, yeah, let me see yeah. Take a You'll actually see that brown water coming out there. Um, that's all strong potent nicot nicotine. In its raw form, it's too heavy to smoke. Uh, put it here on your chest big time. And then I'm just going to take it from here into the colander over there. From there, I'm going to put it straight back onto this little tray over here after it's been squeezed out. And then I'm just going to put it in front of a fan and dry it out. And then we'll carry on with the process from there. Mix now after 10 or 15 minutes. Place it into the strainer here. Get a good amount in, you don't have to overload it. Get a good amount into the strainer. And you just press it down. Give the majority of it out. And what you can do is you can grab a nice little handful like this. And squeeze it out. See all that brown nicotine coming out there. Place it down there. And you go to the next patch and you repeat the process throughout. So you've got all as much of the water out of it as possible. And if you're worried about, about it making a clump, if you have a look over here, it will nicely just come apart again as you funnel with your hands a little bit it becomes all loose as you can see very straightforward very easy this is where you want to get them apart loosely as much as possible you don't really want clumps because otherwise it's not going to dry properly so that's where you want to keep it like this for now and you just repeat the entire process until they all dry like this Okay, so what I've done over here is I've basically taken a styrofoam lid of a styrofoam dish that I've got and I've basically now taken those um, damp leaves that we've now just soaked and I've taken out all the water out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this in a room um, with just a normal fan on it overnight and uh, tomorrow morning it'll still be like a tiny bit damp, not much, but a tiny bit damp, but you don't want tobacco to be too dry either. Um, and um, yeah, we'll carry it on from there, but this is how I lay it out, just like that. And I've done a batch already before. Um, this is just completing the rest of it. Um, the amount of tobacco I used, I used one kilo. Um, out of that kilo, you should get about, roughly about 840 um, grams out. And the average cigarette's about a, a gram in a cigarette. So there's about 840 cigarettes that you will get out of a kilo of tobacco after you've taken um, the sticks out and all that. It also depends on the size of the leaf. The smaller the leaf, the less you'll get. The bigger the leaf, the more you'll get. It's just general rule of thumb. So um, this other load is right here now. It's going to be squeezed out in the next, say, five minutes or so. And once you squeeze that out, we're going to lay it also on a tray like this. Take it, just try it. Tomorrow morning, 
we'll start processing it and then we'll, we'll just add it on to the video okay so after a day of drying overnight these are still semi um, wettish more like a damp than, than the actual wet or dry and you want them to kind of be a little bit damp um, you don't want them to be too too dry um, because what we are going to use is that blender so in using this blender if it's too dry it's going to turn it into dust and that you don't want so with a dry leaf after you've now been drying it and after you've rinsed it um, you know spray it with this concoction I've made and in this little bottle over here we've got a cup of water we've got a teaspoon of cocoa teaspoon of sugar um, we also have one and a half teaspoons of glycerine and a teaspoon of cocoa I don't know if I really, really mentioned it but yeah that's what I've got inside yeah so it's a teaspoon of sugar a teaspoon of cocoa one and a half or one cup of water and then one and a half teaspoons of glycerine and uh, you just use it in a little spray bottle like this and this is going to be more or less your flavor that you're going to be using so then what you do is you just spray it over the leaf like so give it a nice little mix up I prefer to spray it before so that if it's heavy dry or anything like that it's going to put a little bit of dampness in it you don't want to put too much on because um, of the sweetness um, so oh yes I forgot to mention also inside this bottle there's also a teaspoon of syrup so what you're going to put is you're going to put one teaspoon sugar one teaspoon syrup one teaspoon cocoa one and a half cups or one cup water and then just a one and a half teaspoon of glycerine um, you put it I'd use kettle water um, RO water in your kettle boil it up so it dissolves everything nicely and then once it's cooled down then you can start spraying and um, like I say you just mix it up and then we are going to put it into that blender and then you end up getting something to this effect now this is put through the blender I don't put it on too, too much of a heavy speed what you will find is that the blender will remove any further little sticks and whatever you like you'll find them like that um, and then you can just pick them out just chuck it one side so that is going to be the process and once I've done this whole batch then I will show you the end product just to that. show you the blender action I'm going to take a just a small amount not a lot just like that or a handful slam it into the blender let on Cap off, clips off, and toss out into a little pan or whatever you've got available to you. And this is what I mean by little sticks. So here's the the blended tobacco, but here you've got still these little sticks like the the veins of the leaf. So those little sticks you can just put one side and um, you'll start collecting those um, but then again I mean I'm gonna sit here collecting these little veins for quite a while so but it's good to get them out um, it's not, I gather it's probably not too necessary they are very soft but um, I don't know if I see them like that I just like to get them all out so that's personal preference really um, as, for, as for the squirting on the tobacco um, what I would do is I would just if I was you and what I did is I just sprayed and I tested and sprayed and I tested and I sprayed and I tested so um, I got these nice and damp I didn't overdo it because like I say 
when you have the, when you put too much sugar onto it or too much of sweetness onto it when you eventually do smoke it you're going to get that like that burning bitter sugary taste if you've got too much sugars in it um so yes i would i would just turn around and take a couple of leaves put a couple of squirts on them of that uh, solution that flavorant and um just trial by error see how it goes okay. so here we have now basically put all the tobacco leaves through the blender um, as you can see it's a lot more than what it was before and uh, yeah it didn't come out too bad um, at the end of the day he has all the little veins we pulled out from uh, while we were blending and this was this actual sticks from the leaf um, so it was actually quite a bit that came out there you know it's not that heavy though but it was quite a bit out there and then here is the empty casings so as you can see there's a filter attached normal paper empty tube inside and then i got this initially because like i said this is all this here is a first for me i'm not a professional at all um got this little machine just to see how it would go um you put your tobacco in there um and you obviously you close it and then you will hold this clip in and you'll push down all the way to the back and then you release the clip and then you push forward again you will as you can see there there's a little white puppet you will put your cigarette casing basically around that um, so yeah let's quick, do a quick demo and see how it goes the cigarette casing as you can see below inside he has a little filler so you're going to put the tobacco in there but first things first you put the cigarette casing on like so right on there like that tap it a little bit it's just nice and stiff on there because they bend easily you grab some tobacco and just throw it on the inside there and you just press it in with your fingers I'll use my fingers for now you really want to push it in on the front um, to try and get as much in there because you have got a gap where your casing has not come on you don't want to compact it too much so it'll be a trial and error you know, as you go so you'll get the hang of it I myself am still trying to get the hang of it so um, not all exactly perfect you see that little groove there will actually press it down so you just Press it in like that. Open it up again. Compact it a little, a little bit more. Press it in again. So here's the important part. You gotta hold this clip in and pulling down. Okay, so hold the clip in, pull down, release the clip, push up. And Still a little bit damp there. But in any case, it should fill in, but you actually want it to fall right to the top. But as you can see, it's already in the casing now. So you'll get the hang of it eventually to where it falls onto the top. But like I said, it's still a little bit damp at the moment. So this was just for video purposes. And there you go. Done.